we have a talk show now? Yes, this is, this is our talk show. Our talk show hosts usually get paid. Wait a minute. I, uh, okay. I'm Linda Cardellini. You're Linda Cardellini. You are Christina Applegate. I'm Christina Applegate. And we are on a program called Dead to Me. I am happy to see Jen and Judy here together. What a nice surprise. Thank surprise. you. Surprise! I play Judy, and you play? Jen. Jen. And we are? Best friends. And quite the comedy duo. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Can I give you a hug? No. Do you think we should describe it as a comedy? Well, you, it's, it's kind of a like dark, a dark, darky drama. There's a lot of reason. There's a lot of, there's there's a lot lot of drama there's for a the lot comedy of to trauma come that has happened. Trauma, drama. It's a tromedy. It's a tromedy. Yes. Just can't imagine what you're going through. Well, it's like if Jeff got hit by a car and died suddenly and violently, like that. Right. <laughs> Welcome to our comedy. Welcome. We both go through a lot in the show. Yeah, Jen's drowning, and this person that she wants nothing to do with etches kind of in and gives her like some repose, gives her a, a deep breath that she can finally have. I am not broken. I am not broken. Judy's very complex. She's a lover and she's a giver. And all she wants to do is make you happy. That makes me very uncomfortable. I know. But now you play Jen, and she has a lot of grief. She's a little bit angry. <laughs> it's just a snake. You make me sad. How did you get ready for being Jen? For me, I didn't have a big plan because she's someone who does react almost like a like an animal. How dare you! She doesn't know why she's reacting the way she's reacting. I think Judy is pretty much the opposite. I think everything she does has an intention behind it. Yes. And there's a thought behind it because of so many things that have happened that she has a, a totally different way of operating. I wish you didn't feel like that, but I do. Because some ripped my life apart. <laughs> <laughs> We're like in a pool of our own despair most right, of the time. Right, I would turn to you with tears, and then this right? would be like, that was so funny, you guys, and we're like, what? <laughs> I couldn't have done, I couldn't have done this shoot with if, if I didn't have you. Thank you, right back at you. It's really nice. <laughs> we do love each other. I'm getting misty-eyed. <laughs> this is good, you want us to cry, right? Okay, so let's uh -huh. talk about other people in the show. Like, sh talk them? Well, not on camera, right? <laughs> James Marsden is also yes, in the show. Plays he plays a character, a special part of our lives. Yes. Is everything all right out there? Ed Asner plays a special part, part of our, our lives. lives. Maybe I am crazy. You are crazy. But who isn't? What the? F huh? Jen, please. I say f a lot. We do say the f word a lot. I say it in almost every line. I want to know how the f this happened. When the f why the f and what the f and f and then I'm gonna tell her that he's dead. Okay, that sounds like a plan. And if I punch her, I f punch her. It's a lot of it's words. It's a lot of bad words. It's a lot of bad words, see? Don't you wanna watch that program? There's so many turns and twists in the show. Oh my god. I was shocked when I'd read every episode. I'd be like, what? Yes. She did what? Yes. What do you think is the most shocking scene? The most shocking scene is the time when James Marsden's <laughs> while he was in the middle of that. Yeah, it was like. It was so insane. I've never seen that on TV. And then Celine Dion was like. <laughs> that scene was. Shocking. So shocking. <laughs> Please watch it. Um, that's desperate. Watch it if you feel. I mean, yeah. if you feel if you feel like it, binge I it think, if, if you want. If you want, I think you should. 